guys! So today we are making a Batman cake. What? This looks like a toy, doesn't it? That's fondant. I made that head out of fondant. How? I don't know. It's a very skinny, very tall sort of cake. And my favorite part about this cake was being able to paint it. I love Batman. He is always flexing like this, but also like this. You know? So let's get started! To create this cake, I started with a 13 by 9 inch cake pan. I've never used this kind of a cake pan for a character cake before. I just divided my cake into different sizes. The largest cake was 6 by 6 inches and the smallest cake was 4 and a half by 2 and a half inches. I took all of my cakes out of the pan and then I just leveled them all individually. I mean it was at this point where I realized that I needed two more layers because it was too short. So I ended up adding another 6 inch round cake that I cut in half. It's just vanilla cake but I had dyed them purple and yellow. I think they look so nice. And when I was making this cake, this wasn't a tutorial that I was going to teach you guys how to do. It was just to see if I could actually create the Batman cake that I envisioned. And I messed up so many times on this cake. First thing I did was start to build my cake and I started with the largest piece of cake at the bottom. And then I added some black buttercream, which is like the worst type of buttercream when you're building a character. Ugh. I created this cake at the exact same time I was creating the Infinity Gauntlet. So I used black buttercream on the gauntlet and I used it here. Never again. It's the worst. So I added buttercream and then just spread it out using my offset spatula. Now this cake is basically Batman being covered by his cape. And the cakes on the bottom are larger so that they actually can spread out at the bottom. Because at the top they're kind of just like very form fitting by the shoulder so you can see all of that muscle. Now I added three layers of vanilla cake and had black buttercream in between each layer. So after these three layers I actually this is where the I started having problems. <laughs> so I added two boba straws and then I added a piece of cardboard to support the rest of the cake. Then some black buttercream which is again the worst. Just repeating the same process of buttercream cake, buttercream cake. I added four more layers like an idiot. <laughs> I added the last layer of cake and it's, uh, it just started, it was gonna fall. So I decided to just take it apart. And I just used the pre-built German cake board that I bought as my base. But because this cake was like super thin, I didn't want this huge sort of dowel in the middle. So I used a very thin skewer to keep the rest of my cake up. There it goes, just placing all of my cake layers. Oh God, this looks so ghetto. And the black buttercream, gosh. This structure was sound. And so I placed it into the fridge to chill and set up for about 30 minutes. And when it was done, I took it out and I created this Batman template so I knew what his body was going to look like. And using my serrated knife, I began to carve the Batman cape shape. Just started rounding out all of the edges. Now, there wasn't that much carving to do at the bottom, but at the top, I needed to make sure that I got his shoulders just right. Then I began to think about like the shape of his chest and his abs because the top part was the only part that was going to be exposed. And I gave this baby a crumb coat with some white buttercream. Black buttercream showing through just looks so disgusting. And I placed my cake into the fridge for about 30 minutes again and I took it out and started to carve away again. This time I separated his chest from his arms. I kept his chest rounded, but then I sort of flattened out his abs so that he could get that washboard look. Batman don't play when it comes to the gym. Once I was happy with what I created, I placed it into the fridge to set and I started to work on Batman's mask. Now creating this mask was so hard. I just used all my fun and tools to make sure that I got his eyes in the right place, that there was just enough cheekbone detail um, and I got the brow shape right. Um, I'm really proud that I was able to do this. It took me 10 tries. This, this whole cake is reliant on me being able to sculpt 
Batman's face and if I wasn't able to do it I would just throw this cake away and pretend it never happened but I didn't have to. Now I created his nose and his bat wings separately so I could get the shape just right especially because his nose is super small and then I added some magic sauce I just blended it to the rest of the mask with some magic sauce so that it looked like one piece. Now I took some Bruce Wayne skin tone fondant and I started to just shape his upper and bottom lip with some sculpting tools. Just cut it to fit the inside of his cowl. Now using a small paintbrush and some white fondant I gave him two eyes and voila. Oh gosh, I'm so, I, I did it. You know, I don't know how I did it. I don't know. I was excited that I was able to do it, but I did Batman, which means that I, I kind of have to do Superman. And that guy's super handsome, so if I don't make him look handsome, then this is... It was all for nothing. Now let's start to make the rest of Batman's suit. So first, I took some gray fondant and started to shape his neck. You know, he's got a very thick neck, very strong, very muscular. Now I covered the front of my cake um, with some dark gray fondant and I just separated his body from his arms and his chest made sure that you could see his collarbones. His collarbone game is so strong. Once I was happy with that, I added more black fondant to the top um, and started to create more of his suit. Now I added some textured fondant to his abdomen area um, so I could create this sort of separation between his lower body and his chest. And I actually didn't think his chest was swollen enough so I added some more fondant just to make it bigger. And then I just took some very small pieces of fondant to give his abs some like definition. It's like armored abs. I wanted to highlight all of like his work because he's like a gym rat, but he's also able to run like this Fortune 500 company. How? At this point, I just like, I just thought that it started to look really legit. Man. When I was happy with his muscles, I added on the bat symbol. I'm just layering different pieces of fondant to give it texture. And then I use a piping tip as well. Now let's make his cape. To create his cape, I'm using large panels of black fondant. Starting with the right side, I just draped it from the top all the way to the bottom. Now I'm not just placing this straight up and down, I'm making sure that I expose his chest and that I'm kind of covering the rest of his body. Now using some sculpting tools, I just gave him some fabric lines to make it look like the cape had movement. And then with my X-Acto knife, I cut the bottom of the cake. And I did the exact same thing on the opposite side. And again, I'm just making sure that it exposes his chest and the bat symbol and then just reaches over to the other side at the bottom so that I'm covering the rest of his body up. You know? And I know this probably looks like super easy, but it wasn't because black fondant cracks like crazy. So I did this four times before I actually got a piece of fondant that fit just right and it didn't crack anywhere. It was a nightmare, but it was worth it. Now I'm adding two black panels onto the back of the cake. And then with some magic sauce, I'm just blending all of the panels together so that it looks like one cape as opposed to four different pieces of fondant. It's looking good, right? I still needed to like clean up the seam where his cape meets his shoulders. So I added a piece of fondant there too. And it just looked so grand, it's crazy. I added Batman's head with some toothpicks and voila, my Batman cake was complete. I'm really happy with the way this came out because I drew this cake probably like two years ago, but I didn't have enough confidence or enough skill to actually execute it, so now I do, it's crazy. One thing I will say, if you're gonna try and attempt this cake, be very patient and also make sure that your measurements of your cake fit the head that you create. Otherwise you could end up with like a tinier body and like this super big head or like a super small head and then a ginormous body. It's gonna look silly. Now as bomb as this Batman cake looks, 
I wasn't quite finished with it yet. So I mixed white food coloring with a whole bunch of other different food colorings as well as magic sauce and I started to paint my cake. I loved the art direction of Suicide Squad. And one of the things that they created was this Batman suit that was decked out by the Joker. The green cowl, the purple cape. You know, I loved seeing the suit and it made me really sad that they left it out of the movie. So I decided that I was gonna turn my Batman cake into a Joker cake and painted it. Gave him Joker colors, some of Jared Leto's Joker signature tattoos, as well as Heath Ledger's like Joker smile. It was so good, it looks so good. I can't believe that I was able to do this. I love the splatter paint, I love all of the detail, and I love the fact that it says Joker, like just, Painted on the bat symbol, it looks so bomb. Now I'm curious, which one did you like better? Did you like my Joker cake or did you like the Batman cake? If you want to see more of my Batman cakes and treats or more of my DC characters, there's an entire playlist for you in the description box as well as at the end of the video. And make sure you hit the notification button. Oh man, is it? Here? It's right here, right? That way you'll be able to see all of the things I'm currently working on in the community tab and you'll be updated when a new video comes out. This video was like two months old. You can tell because my set is completely different now. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love you. I will see you very soon. Peace!